Hi, my name is Richard, and I'm going to show you how to set up Cloud Build uh, through the browser. Uh, you can also do this through the editor, specifically Unity 5.3.5 or greater. If you want to see instructions for that, see the link in the description. But in this video, we are going to set up Cloud Build through the web browser. Now, as a prerequisite, I'm going to assume that you've already created a project and that now you want to add Cloud Build to it. So what you do is you go to developer.cloud.unity3d.com, uh, log in, and then you will arrive at this screen, uh, the projects view, specifically the active one. So now we are going to find the project that we want to add Cloud Build to. I just so happen to have created one for this tutorial. Oops. And we'll click in to view the details. Now this is the project specific dashboard and we're going to click through one more time into the cloud build section so we can start setting it up. Okay, and now we are really ready to start setting up cloud build. So the first thing that I need to do is provide cloud build with a source control repository. That is the requirement to using cloud build. If you don't know how to create a uh, source control, um, or you don't have one already, uh, there is a tutorial in the description. Um, if you want to see a video of how it's done, let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and do that. So now let's go add our source control information. Click on do it. Ask me for some basic information. So I need to provide the URL to my source control. In this case, I already have something set up in GitHub to my project. So this is just a standard GitHub interface. This is how I get my GitHub URL. Let's copy that as a clipboard, paste it in. Uh, notice how it automatically chooses Git. Um, the other SCMs supported. Uh, we support all the major ones, so Git, SVN, Perforce, Mercurial. So now with my URL in, I just click Next. And I'm done. Now that wizard is actually very smart. Uh, if I had picked the different source control management system, it would have asked me different questions. If my repository was private, it would have actually asked for my SSH key. But because it was public, it didn't need to do that, so it just moved me on automatically to the next step. So now that I have to find my source control management system, which is what CloudBuild is going to monitor, I need to decide which platform I want to build for. In this case, I'm going to make it easy and just select Mac Desktop. I'll give it a different label because why not? Let's call it tutorial. I have to pick up my branch, just with the master. I will always build with the latest version of 5x. And I will also leave auto build on. And what auto build does is every time I commit to my source control, cloud build is automatically going to execute and create a new build. So I just click next. And that's it. I'm done with setup. It's already starting its first build. And that's pretty much it to setting up cloud build. At this point, I can do some more advanced options. I'll go ahead and show you some of them since I'm right here. Collaborators, so if I wanted to add other people to this build, um, I can add their email address here, and then they will be notified any time a build is complete. And in fact, um, they'll get an email that looks something like this when the build is complete. In this case, it's an iOS build, which means it's uh, extra convenient because I can just click on this link, which is going to bring me to the uh, CloudBuild website, and then I can actually download the IPA file directly from CloudBuild. So I don't have to sideload the project, I just click on download, and then assuming that I have the provisioning profile on my device, it should just install easily. Other things I can do is some more advanced configuration options. So what I can do is I can set up additional targets to build for, so which is great for multi-platform games or even uh, multiple builds for the same platform. So 
say I have a project and I want to build for Android at the same time as iOS, or let's say I want multiple iOS builds, so one for my testers, another for my publisher, another for my mock. Uh, I'll go ahead and set up one target just to show how it's done. Let's go ahead and show off iOS. Next branch. Now, because this is an iOS build, it's actually going to ask me for additional steps I didn't see in the past. And these are all very specific to the iOS setup process. So I have to choose my credentials, I have to provide my bundle ID. I don't have those offhand for this particular project, so I'm not going to provide it, but just goes to show that depending on the platform that you build for, Cloud Build is going to ask the appropriate questions. So I'm going to go click back. Uh, I also want to show off some of the advanced options for each individual build. So I've exploded them out here. Let's show you the advanced options. So I can define custom symbols, which is actually very useful. This is used for creating multiple builds from the same project. So within my project code, I would say this is a iOS build conduct these other steps instead. So again, it's very easy to configure multiple settings at a very granular level from a single project. Um, I can also execute pre and post methods. So before a build is created, I can say, hey, Cloud Build, uh, execute these scripts first or execute these other scripts later. And I can also choose uh, particular scenes that I want to create within a project file. So it could be useful if you have like a custom debug uh, scene just for your game. And then for your production game, you just leave that scene out. Other options, uh, asset bundles. So Cloudbook does support um, asset bundles. This is relatively new. Um, if you know, know about asset bundles, you can just click on the union and from here more. Um, basically, it's a way to uh, spread out the assets of your game, so it's, uh, it's easier to distribute. And finally, um, test options. You can also configure Cloud Build to run the test utilities that come with Unity itself from this options menu. So that's setting up Cloud Building. In a nutshell, you saw how to do the basic configuration and also a quick overview of some of the advanced features that you can do with Cloud Build.